Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Tutorials. As you all know, my name is Tito Joseph. Please, as you are watching this video, endeavor to subscribe, like, share, and comment. In today's video, we shall be discussing theoretical, actual, and percentage yield. In our previous class, we've uh, dealt with some calculations in a stoichiometry, uh, limiting an SS reagent, although this topic is under stoichiometry okay so we have treated ss and limiting reagents we've treated more concepts and of course other aspect of our stoichiometry apart from this then once i'm done with this topic i shall be taking um uh, the next part which is acid base and salt acid base and salt now what is the meaning of this first word we have theoretical yield what does it mean it is it is the amount of limiting reagents or reactants at the beginning of what the reaction it means the amount of limiting i told us the other class that um, limiting reactants or limiting reagents are the first reactants that are used up in a chemical reaction then when reactants are used up in a chemical reaction, it means that product will not be what formed. So the amount of limiting reagent that is present at the beginning of the reaction or at the start of the reaction is called what? The theoretical yield. Or it is also the amount of product formed when the limiting reagents undergo what reaction, when they are able to react. Alright, that is also under name for what? Theoretical what yield. Then you, know, you have number two, actual yield. Mm -hmm. It is it is the amount of product obtained in a reaction. The actual yield of a reaction means the amount or the quantity of product that has that has been obtained from what a chemical reaction. Theoretical yield means the amount of limiting reagents that is present at the beginning of a given reaction or it is the amount of uh, product that is formed when the limiting reagents are able to undergo a reaction by their collision. You now have the actual yield. It is the quantity or, or the amount of product that has been obtained from a given what, reaction. Then you have the third one called the percentage yield. Percentage yield. All right. Whenever you hear the word percentage, I think hundred percent comes to your mind. Now, the ratio of the uh, the ratio of the actual yield to the theoretical yield is called what? Percentage yield. Okay. You say it is the ratio of All right, so this is a formula. In order for you to calculate the percentage uh, yield, it means you must have calculated the theoretical and what actual yield. So this is all we need in solving questions on theoretical, actual, and what percentage. Now you have two questions on the board that we have to solve together. The first one says, if two, if uh, twelve point three gram of tetrachloromethane, which is CCL4, of tetrachloromethane are produced. All right, so what, the, what does that tell you? It means that this one is the what? The actual yield. Look at, if 12.3 gram of tetrachloromethane are produced or obtained from the reaction of 18.0 gram of carbon disulfide, with 22.0 gram of chlorine what is the percentage yield of what tetrachloromethane as i said earlier you can't calculate for this without uh, calculating for this and what this okay this has been given already it has been given so you have to look for this so i'll rub off the board let us get started so how do you do it 
The knowledge of limiting and excess reagents is also required in this segment. So it gave us 18 gram of what carbon disulfide. Okay, before we start fully, we have to carry out the reaction. It said this was produced, which means, in other words, this is one of the byproducts. Then from the reaction of carbon disulfide with chlorine. So if if carbon disulfide should react with chlorine, what will be the byproduct? Please, whenever carbon disulfide reacts with chlorine, it produces um, tetrachloromethane, tetrachloromethane, and um, disulfide dichloride. Whenever carbon dis okay carbon disulfide is reacted with chlorine, it produces tetrachloromethane and disulfide dichloride. Please take note of that. Now let's balance the equation. You have uh, two sulfur here. You have two sulfur. You have uh, six chlorine. Here you have just two. So it means you put three at the back of this place. Then the equation is what? Balanced. Two sulfur, two sulfur. Two plus this is what? Six. Two times three, six. So the reaction is fully balanced. So let's start solving. It said 18.0 gram of what? Carbon disulfide. So what does that mean? Don't forget the knowledge of, you have number, no, and if there is number of moles equals mass over what? Molar mass. Is that not correct? So the mass given is what? 18 gram. How do we calculate for the molar mass of this idiot? Carbon is 12. Plus sulfur is what 32 times 2, you have 64, and that will give us 76. Therefore, means that the, the, the molar mass of carbon disulfide is what 76. Is that not correct? Yes, it is very, very correct. So 76. What do we do next? We have to divide 18, 18 divided by 76. I'll get what 0. Let me put it in decimal places. Two, 0 0.237 mole approximately. Alright, so this was given. You see, number of moles equals mass per molar mass. The mass is what? 18. The molar mass is what? 76. 12 plus, you know, sulfur is 32, right? So 32 times 2, you have what? 64. 64 plus 12, that will give us what? 76. So when you divide, you have this guy. Going back to the equation, all right, they said this reacted with this to produce what? This. Is that not correct? It therefore means that one mole, therefore means that one mole of carbon disulfide will produce one mole of CCL4, then 0 mole of this, 0 0.237 mole of carbon disulfide will produce what? X mole of CCL4. Just follow it step by step, you understand it. Alright? So what do we do next? You cross multiply. In doing that, it becomes X mole equals this times this divided by this is the same as 0 0.237 mole of tetrachloromethane. Tetrachloromethane. So this is the first approach, very, very important. So which means in order for you to solve questions properly in limiting reagents, SS reagents, and this topic, you must understand how to use equations to tackle problems, okay? Because if you don't understand how to balance equation, that begins uh, confusion. So you have to understand how to carry out reaction and as well how to what, balance reactions. Now the next, we've already solved for this now. The next one is what? 22 
0.0 gram of what? Chlorine. Number of moles, of course, is mass over what? Molar mass. The mass of chlorine was given as what? 22. Chlorine is a diatomic element, all right? Chlorine is 35.5 times 2. We'll be having what? 71, all right? That is the atomic mass of chlorine. So what do you do? You say 22 divided by 71. You get 0 0.30, 0, okay? 0 0.31 approximately, all right? So what do you do next? Go back to the equation. What do you do? You say 3 mole of chlorine, 3 moles of chlorine, Will produce just one mole, one mole of what? CCL4. And how many mole of okay, how many mole will be produced from this mole of what chlorine? So 0 0.31 mole of chlorine will produce X mole. We don't know what X is. What do we do? You simplify for that. So I'll rub off this first part, leaving the equation. Now what do we do next? You cross multiply. In doing that, you say x mole. x mole is equals this times this, which is 0 0.31 divided by this. So 0 0.31 divided by, okay, let me do it on the board. It's good I do it on the board. 0 0.31 times 1 divided by 3 divided by 3 equals 0 0.103 mole this is what you are going to get all right now okay you don't say you just write it as you say 0 0.103 mole of what? CCL4. So it therefore means that chlorine gives 0 0.103 mole of chlorine, of tetrachloromethane, right? What about the first one that we sought for? Carbon disulfide gives 0 0.23 mole of what? Tetrachloromethane. Methane. So from what we've gotten, which of them is the limiting reagent and which of them is the excess reagent? 0 0.103, it's quite smaller than 0 0.237. Is that not correct? So this is the excess reagent and this is what? The limiting reagent. So that is for that. But we are not, from the question, we are not told to look for the limiting reagent. Neither will we ask to look for the um, excess reagent. We have to look for percentage yield. Mm -hmm. Now, in order for you to get the theoretical yield of the reaction, all right, you multiply the molar mass of this, the molar mass of this, with the limiting reagent. So you say number of moles is called mass over what? Molar mass. All right. The number of moles here is what? 0 0.103. The mass is what we, are, we don't know the mass. Then over. What is the molar mass of tetrachloromethane? Carbon is what? 12, right? 12 plus. Chlorine is 35.5 times 2. So 35.5 times 4. That will give us 142. Yeah. 35.5 times 4. Yes, 142. So 142 plus 12, that will be 164. So 164 gram. So here I'll write what? 164 gram. So what do we do next? You cross multiply. In doing that, you have that M is equal to 10, 0 0.103 times 164. That will give me, okay, 0 0.103 times 164 equals 
16.892 gram. So this is the theoretical yield and this is what? The actual, where is it? So from that is, with this, it means that food is almost ready. What is the formula? How do we solve for percentage? I told you percentage is equals what? So what do we do? The actual is what? 12.3 divided by 16.892 times 100 over what? 1. This will give me 12.30 divided by 16.892. Alright? Let me confirm this. 12.3 times 100, okay, 1, 2, 3, 0, okay, divided by 16.892 equals, all right, so, so I'm going to be getting, so I can run above this idiots. So this divided by this, I'm going to be having, uh, equals, uh, 72.82% approximately. So this is the percentage yield, the actual yield is what from the question. The question is uh, 12. Then what about theoretical? Theoretical where is it? Uh, 16.892. So that is what we have the answer to the excuse me. Let me check if I get other questions. I think it's good we take some questions ourselves and start solving. Alright, so let us solve the number two of it. I believe this first one was assimilated. If this was produced, it therefore connotes that this is the actual yield. In order for you to calculate for the percentage, you have to look for the theoretical together with what the actual is. So with this, we are good to go. What about number two? So I believe, or should I leave it for us? Should I solve it? Mm, let me solve it. Let me just solve it, okay? Or should I leave it? I feel like leaving it too. Okay, let's take. When 25 gram of hydrogen iodide are reacted with an excess of what H2SO4, which is a sulfuric acid, 20.5 gram of iodide, okay, iodine are obtained. What does that mean? Are, are obtained, which means that this guy is what the what actual yield. The reaction is illustrated as this. Let me write it out. You have its moles of hydrogen iodide reacting with what? What did it react with? H2SO4 to produce four moles of water. Okay, four moles of four moles of water and four moles. Oh, I doubt. I doubt. H2S plus four water plus four iodine. Is that what they got there? Yeah. So this is the reaction. All right. So what do we do? We are to uh, look for this and this, this and this. What do you do? This is what you are going to do. Very easy. It is easy PC. Now, 20 gram of this was, okay. Okay. okay yes. Yes. This is the actual, we are not touching it. So this is what we are using. It means a number of moles. means that number of moles is equal to mass over what? Molar mass. The mass given from the question is what? 25.0. What is the molar mass of hydrogen iodide? All right. Iodine has atomic mass of 126.9. All right. That is 
or you know we have it to be like this hydrogen iodide so hydrogen here is one it's not hydrogen here is not existing as a diatomic element it's existing as what a monoatomic what element so here it has just one atom huh? so one plus one two six point nine that will give me what one two seven point what nine very easy so what do you do next you say 25 divided by 127.9 that will give me 0 0.195 mole. Are we done? No, we aren't. So, what do we do next? We'll say uh, the reaction, okay, it means that it's moles, it's moles of HI produced. What, what 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 do we have now okay okay this was produced produced four moles of what h2 then how many mole of this how many mole of this we produced okay 0 0.195 moles of mole of h of hi produce x mole of so what do you do next? You cross multiply and what? Divide. It means that this times this divided by this. So x mole now, x mole now is equals uh, 0 0.195 times 4 divided by 8. That will give me what? 0 0.195 times 4 equals divided by it i have 0 0.09 it's approximately so this is the mode mm -hmm. the to look for the theoretical yield that you know something you say number of moles is equals mass over what molar mass mass over what molar mass of this mm -hmm. mass that is uh of this of this guy okay so what do you do next um number of moles gotten is what 0 0.098 the mass is what we are looking for over the molar mass of this okay or the atomic mass rather let's use the word atomic mass atomic mass of is that what yes atomic mass that is 126.9 times 2. That will give me 253.8. What? what do we do next? You cross multiply. So mass equals this times this times 0 0.098 equals 28.8724 moles. Is that this this is the vertical yield? But how do we we have looked for one of them? Look at we've gotten this one. We still should look for the word the percentage yield. It means you know what to do. The ratio of the actual to the theoretical. So as oh god, these markers they are they are messing up. So percentage is equals. So it means to be having uh, the actual from the question is what 20.5 over hmm, 28.8. Let me approximate this. Let, let me just leave it as two like two decimal places. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, so I rub up these parts. So theoretical is what two eight point eight seven times hundred over what one. So what do we do next? 
uh, this times this, what do we get? We have 20, that is 250, all right? 2050, then over 28.87. So what would you get? 2050 divided by 28.87 equals 75 that is 71.01% approximately. So this is the actual yield. So at this point, we'll call it a day. If you know you have learned something in today's video, please endeavor to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Do have a wonderful day.